seven billion people need to change the conversation of what success looks like. It is not to make a billion dollars, it is to actually wake up in the morning and be in a good mood. Nobody is perfect. People are gonna tell you you're perfect just the way you are. You're not. You are imperfect. You always will be, but there is a powerful force that designed you that way. And if you're willing to accept that, you will have grace. You gotta have a plan. Everybody's got a dream. Everybody's got a goal. What's the plan? And your plan has got to have something I call the C5 complex. Your plan has got to be clear, concise, compelling, consistent, and committed. You've got to have a plan. And when you're trying to do something that you're truly passionate about, there is no plan B. It's all in your mind. Whatever you hold in your mind will tend to occur in your life. If you continue to believe as you have always believed, you will continue to act as you have always acted. You will continue to get what you have always gotten. If you want different results in your life or your work, all you have to do is change your mind. When you are struggling and you start thinking about giving up, I want you to remember the power of hope. The belief that something better is always possible if you're willing to work for it and fight for it. Our hope that if we work hard enough and believe in ourselves, then we can be whatever we dream, regardless of the limitations that others may place on us. The hope that when people see us for who we truly are, maybe, just maybe, they too will be inspired to rise to their best possible selves. I'm not afraid to fail. I'm not afraid to fall over, make a mistake. That oftentimes cripples people on the onset of getting to, into anything. The first time I ever picked up the DJ decks, it was horrible, horrible now. But I'm not afraid of that. I'm not afraid of that feeling. It actually propels me, it works quite the opposite. Be yourself, love who you are, and be compassionate, and then Give that love and compassion and kindness to everyone around you and it will always come back to you. Nobody in life is flawless. Nobody is perfect. You know, perfection is, is something that really exists when you're talking about individuals. It's impossible. You can try to be as perfect as you want, but ultimately you're going to come across mistakes. Right. You're going That's to come true. across flaws. And I think the real perfection is in, is in perfecting your imperfections. That's how you get to a place where you can ultimately be happy with who you are. I was willing to die doing something that I love. So if you're willing to die to do something that you love, 99% of the time you're going to come out on top. So, just like Kobe Bryant, right. Michael Jordan, Killer Instinct, you know, got to take the shot even if you miss. Mm -hmm. Yeah, fearless. You got to take the yeah. shot. No one's coming. No one. No one's coming to push you. No one's coming to tell you to turn the TV off. No one's coming to tell you to get out the door and exercise. Nobody's coming to tell you to apply for that job that you've always dreamt about. Nobody's coming to write the business plan for you. It's up to you. Don't react against a bad situation. Merge with that situation instead. And the solution will arise from the challenge. Because surrendering yourself doesn't mean giving up, it means acting with responsibility. I think the hardest lesson a young person has to learn in their 20s is um, you are not the main character in everybody's story. Man, life's short. Go harder than you did last year. Mm. Mm. Whatever you thought you did, it wasn't enough. Mm. And enjoy it even more. Believe that. Go harder and find a way to enjoy it. That's when you master the game. Motivation is a feeling that comes and goes, and it doesn't matter whether it's there or not. Discipline is infinitely more important. So no matter how you feel, get up and do what you're supposed to do. That's it. And that's discipline. It's not motivation. If you only did what you were supposed to do when you were motivated to do it, that's leaving it to chance. But if you're disciplined, you go do what you're supposed to do. That's the way it works. If you want to be the best, you watch the best. You look at the best. You watch them, you have their lifestyle. 
Don't be like this. Have that lifestyle. And it'll take you anywhere you want to go. That's the only way you ever get where you want to go. You have to take a path that's dangerous. And most people want to take the safe path. The safe path leaves you stuck in quiet desperation almost every time. It's hell. It's more important to, to own your weaknesses. You got to really triple down on those, man. Because why? You want to become a full human being. We like to run away from weaknesses. Like for instance, if you're good at running, all you want to do is run. If you're great at reading, you have several books. But we don't do those things that we're not good at. So for me, I realized, man, like I keep on running away from these things I'm not good at. I have to dive into these things. I have to become one with these things. So I, I, I own them both. It was a beautiful awakening. It's like when you're, when you're living in, in your parents' home, they, they are the enemy. You know, everything you don't do right is because of them. And then when you're on your own and you had to say, you start making mistakes that you made when you were at home, it's like you can't put it on mama now. Mama not with you no more. You can't put it on daddy and say, my father was too hard. They, I had a curfew. You know what I'm saying? They wouldn't let me party past 12. Like I had all these excuses why I wasn't successful because of my parents. You finally have what you always wanted, control over your, over your life, and you're getting the same results. If you really want to change, you have to take personal responsibility. I think the company is where it is, and people follow me because they don't hear a bunch of excuses. They hear, yo, E, you coming at me hard, but it's the truth. Like, I know what I'm doing wrong, and I just need to make the adjustment. So I would say personal accountability and personal responsibility is what took me from being homeless and a high school dropout to the number one motivational speaker in the world. There ain't nothing you can do about what's going to happen to you. You can't stop life from happening. You can do something about it. Life is 10% what happened to you. is 90% what you do about it. You got to stop tripping every time something happened to you like it's the end of the world. It ain't. Just change your mindset. If you change your attitude, you change your altitude. I saw working out as a way for me to build calluses on my mind. I had to callous over the victim's mentality. I always equated training to mental toughening. Like, it always looked brutal. People waking up early and doing all these things, and look, it looked horrible. I was like, wow, man, I gotta start doing that. Not to get better, bigger, and stronger, but that is what's gonna build me. That looks uncomfortable. That looks brutal. And getting up early, I don't wanna do that. So I made this long list of things I don't wanna do. And through that, I found myself. So I started seeing myself very differently than the average human being. I was like, hold on a second. I have something they don't have. And that's when I started to develop these things through working out. It was this great, never-ending work ethic. And through work ethic, I developed self-esteem. I believe that everybody has a gift. Every single human out there listening right now, you have a gift. You cannot be great being a lesser version of what already exists. You can only be great when you execute against your own potential and do your own development. And that means getting up there and looking like a clown. And it means taking little bitty steps forward every single opportunity you get. Make your luck. You, you gotta make your luck. And if you make it, if you keep putting forth the maximal effort, that luck's gonna come, you're gonna make your luck happen. We lie to ourselves. We don't tell ourselves the way things really are. And when we do that, then we can't fix our problems. We have to be truthful to ourselves. We have to stop rationalizing, stop making excuses, stop telling yourself little watered down assessments of where you're really at. Tell yourself the truth.